Like George Bailey, the intrepid banker, it's been a wonderful life for our first honoree. Ed Waymer graduated with a CPA, worked at an accounting firm, and was able to learn about a vast array of businesses. He settled on banking and worked in a variety of positions while gaining experience with the SEC, procuring banks, and finally running them. At the time, larger banks were gobbling up the smaller banks. My study showed me that 50% of the people still wanted that high-touch community bank. So I said, well, we all go around once in life, might as well make a run at it, so good my job. In 1991, Waymer opened his first community bank with 11 employees in Lake Forest so he could be closer to his family. People were lined up out the door and it went really, really well. So we did it again and did it again. Today, Wintrust has grown to include 15 charter banks with over 5,000 employees, more than 180 locations in Chicago and southeast Wisconsin, and over $43 billion in assets. Yet the focus of the bank has always been community. During the pandemic, Wintrust was there for the community, distributing 12,000 PPP loans. I'm responsible for 5,400 people who work here and all our clients, and you just can't screw it up. Remember what's important, family's important, more important to your work. And that makes it a wonderful life. Hello, my name is Matt Walsh. Last year, my brother Dan and I were honored to receive the History Makers Award. And tonight, I have the great honor and privilege to introduce the um, History Maker for this particular category this year. Throughout the Chicago area, the name Wintrust is synonymous with community banking that offers a unique, personalized alternative to the big banks. Wintrust bankers know their customers by name, and they invest in their neighborhoods. It's a model built on relationships and trust. Wintrust, the name is not an accident. They go out and win their, the trust of their clients every day, something we don't see often enough. Ed Waymer wouldn't have it any other way. Ed started Wintrust some 30 years ago, along with friends over beers and cigars. And the bank has grown to what it is not now known as, as Chicago's Bank, with 190 locations all over the city and suburbs and in southern Wisconsin. It's hard to imagine Ed working out of that first bank with 1,100 square feet of space and nothing but a table and a giant 1990s cell phone. Today, Ed's office has grown, his cell phone has shrunk, but one thing has not changed his ideas about the role a community bank should play in this town and the lives of its people and its businesses. The Wintrust story is not the only reason people have great admiration for Ed. They also respect his commitment to family. In fact, he was drawn to start the Lake Forest Bank in part because the new job would be closer to his home and give him more time with Dorothy and their six children. Ed also encourages employees to prioritize family and he asks them to give back whenever possible. You could say doing right by the community is the win trust way. It's certainly the Waymer way. Ed also devotes his time and talent to Northwestern Memorial Hospital Foundation, the Ann and Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital Foundation, and the Archdiocese of Chicago, to name just a few of the organizations that have benefited from Ed's leadership and generosity. Ed Waymer's achievement in family, banking, business, and charity are historic in the city of Chicago and beyond. That's why I'm so pleased to present him with the Cyrus McCormick Making History Award for Historic Corporate Achievement. Ed, you deserve this tremendously. Congratulations. Good evening, everyone. What a pleasure to be here this evening, albeit virtually. Although well, this event isn't quite what we imagined, it, it does not diminish the importance and the honor that I, I feel in receiving this great award. It feels strange being given a recognition that implies that we at Wintrust and I are somehow making history, especially in the year when so much history is being made, good and bad. It feels even strange to be part of that growing list of very impressive Chicago leaders who have preceded me in getting this award. When we started Wintrust back in 1991, it wasn't with any intention of making history. All we wanted to do was provide a local experience that's different than the big banks. We opened one community bank location with that simple idea, the alternative to the big bank experience. When we reached our 20-year mark, we looked back at our growth and assessed where we wanted to go from there. We realized that Chicago is such a great town with a great fabric of history. It doesn't have its own bank anymore. It used to have First Chicago, Continental, Northern Trust is still here. We decided, what the heck? Let's go for it. Let's go and become Chicago's bank. Chicago's bank has always found incredibly important to support the things that make this area strong, to celebrate what makes it so unique. 
We knew that no bank could do that like the one that we had built to serve this area in particular. According to the Chicago History Museum, a Making History Award is given to people whose contributions make Chicago a better, more vibrant place to live. It's funny because that's exactly what the History Museum does. The History Museum is the keeper of the stories, the great legends and tales of Chicago, from Mrs. O'Leary to the, uh, the Black Cat to the, uh, all the great stories of Chicago. Um, and uh, it's an institution that plays an available part for Chicago. And we're, I'm very proud and honored to receive this award. Thank you very much and have a great evening. The 26th Annual Making History Awards are generously underwritten by Exelon, Lavin Family Foundation, Wintrust, Abbott, Anonymous, The Crown Family, Bon and Holly French Adams Street Partners, The Kenneth C. Griffin Charitable Fund, ITW, Jim and K. Maybe, Robert R. McCormick Foundation, John W. and Jean M. Rowe, Patrick G. and Shirley W. Ryan, Sidley, Liz Stiffel, the Tawani Foundation, and Laura and Dan Webb. Congratulations and thanks to all of tonight's honorees for your valuable contributions to Chicago.